glasses. I just use them for fashion statements. Sorry, the picture on my on my wall, on my door. Sorry, I just get my nose. Anyway, so um, basically, and but I don't wear glasses. Just a fashion statement. I thought I looked good in. Uh, actually, I, but I do look good in glasses. Comment below if something if I, you think I look if you think I look if you think I look good in glasses. Comment below. You done? Okay then. Right. So my <coughs> fifth favorite sock though is drum roll please. John Petway. Now the reason why he's my fifth favorite doctor is because a he's like a James Bond figure. B he okay. He says he's not violent, but then he kind of like fought people off of karate and everything. And I've watched one episode of his. One. That was his. Re that was his regeneration. Well, his regen. Well, when Chris, we were Patrick Trout regenerated into John Pertwee. That's when. That's the episode I watched. Um. Anyway. So yeah. Um. Also, what the, what I find hilarious. I think if if I got my if I, if I got my facts right. He is the only doctor in Doctor Who history to not have a companion have to have sexual contact with him. Okay? Because for all you know, Barbara could have actually the first doctor. Um, um that's my brother. Excuse me. Bye. Um all you know, and then Vic Polly could have had a some a thing. Can you not See what I'm saying? Um, can you not? Um, look. Um, ah, what did you call it? Yeah, probably could have had a thing for the second doctor. The third doctor, pff, the fourth doctor, Sarah Jane could have had a thing for the thing for the fourth doctor. Fifth doctor, Perry Brown could have had a thing for the fifth doctor. Sixth doctor as well. Seventh doctor. For the for seventh doctor. Um, seventh doctor probably Ace fought even more as a as a. A probably messed up mad dad. Um, the eighth doctor, don't even get me started, right? That was his first ever kiss. Not his first ever love, but his first ever kiss, right? His first ever love, people's, was way back with the first doctor. I'm not even gonna go there. Anyway, that kiss, right? He says he's not into that stuff. <laughs> says the man he's married to River Song. Mm hmm. Anyway, so I don't even get me started on the night protect for the eleventh doctors. Do you know what River Song? Don't get me started. Please, just don't, 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 don't even get me started. Anyway, so after all that catastrophe, um, <laughs> sorry, my my fourth, <laughs> my fourth. Right, now I know how David Tennant feels when he's filming an episode with Billy Piper and yeah, that stuff. Anyway, so my fourth. Oh. Favorite doctor is drum roll please. <gasps> Tom Baker. What? Okay, sorry, that's an extreme. The reason why I like Tom Baker, sorry, is because, <laughs> is because, is because, um, basically, um, I think he's the longer, obviously the long, the longest ever doctor. He's probably longer than Matt Smith and David Tennant put together, um. Okay, I think that sounded wrong. Anyway, so um, <laughs> he's the longest doctor. He is also one of the doctors that probably, if it wasn't for him, Sarah Jane wouldn't have been in with, in it with David Tennant. She wouldn't have had a nearly almost had a fight with Rose, and she wouldn't have been had her own show. So um, I think kind of. Anyway, so basically, and also, yeah, um, I think also he's a pretty good doctor. He's actually, he's funny, Doctor, because he has his own sort of kind of catchphrase. Would you like a jello, baby? That's, I think that's a bad sort of voice. Would you like a jello, baby? But I, I, I think that's probably a funny line. I like, <laughs> I love the way he has a jelly baby. Like, for the first Doctor, I don't know what it is. Second Doctor, probably wrote the recorder. 
the third Doctor at, at the Sonic, I think. The four, um, the fourth Doctor probably Jelly Babies. Fifth Doctor, I don't know what. Sixth Doctor, probably the coat. No, fourth Doctor probably the scarf, and the Jelly Babies. Sixth Doctor, fifth Doctor, I don't know what the celery. The sixth Doctor, um, probably the the ridiculous coat. Seventh Doctor probably his umbrella. Eighth Doctor. Um, the ninth Doctor, ooh, his psychic paper. The tenth Doctor, ooh, his so like screwdriver. The eleventh Doctor, bow tie and jammy dodgers. Anyway, um, oh yeah, average figures are custard, bad man food. Anyway, um, my okay. Um, also, he's actually probably one of the. I don't know. He's actually so. He's actually good as a doctor. Yeah. I can't even explain it. Anyway, you probably you're probably gonna guess who my third one is. Anyway, so drum roll, please. Number three is Christopher Eccleston. What? Anyway, the reason why he's my third doctor because number one, he's my first doctor. Two, he. I just swore. Sorry. He oh. is the <laughs> only one, right? Who is actually more modern, right? He was the only modern doctor. I mean. If you're walking down the street, you see a guy in a leather jacket, you think he's a normal guy. But really, he's a time lord from the from planet Gallifrey in the constellation of Castiborus. He's the bringer of darkness. And he wears a leather jacket with a shirt and trousers and plain old shoes. So, yeah. Um, he's also... He also probably changed Doctor Who. It was, if it wasn't for him, we wouldn't, we wouldn't see... Be- we wouldn't be seeing Billy Piper, we wouldn't be seeing David Tate, we wouldn't be seeing Freeman Adrian, we wouldn't be seeing Alex Kingston or Max or Karen or Upper Double or any of them. If it wasn't for him, that wouldn't have happened. Okay? And I wouldn't I wouldn't I wouldn't have been a mega fan. Okay, that's this this is a true true fact. I just fucking I, I, oh, when I first watched it I was like, what is this? And I was like When I saw Rose I was like, damn that girl feisty. Yeah. Um so yeah. Um So my yeah, and also I think I kind of fell fell in love with him a bit when I was younger. So it was ba- it was is a basic fact of that how like it was a bit like um a love between um in a way it was kind of like the, it was kind of like Martha and the Doctor because <laughs> you like really fan you fall in love with him but he doesn't realize it th- th- they don't know that's what it was like for me with. Chris Ferguson. Um, now, my second one, we're probably, probably going to guess who it is. Um, drum roll, please. Second place is the wonderful, the brilliant, he's the 10th Doctor, David Tennant. Oh, yeah, baby. Okay, the reason why he's my f- Ow! second favourite Doctor. A, he had more than one. He didn't have, he didn't have one, not two. Not three, not one, not two, but three companions. Yeah, three, three main companions. Okay, three main companions, right? And I'll tell you something about the Lieutenant era. It was the only era that lasted for so long that it was actually bigger in America than the old series was because... Well, actually, uh, in in fairness, the Americans, um, the, it wasn't as big as it as it was in America when David Tennant was in it. To be fair, because um, the Ameri- some Americans hadn't even heard of Doctor Who, and they only w- started watching it like some Americans only started watching it like three years ago. So that they didn't really watch David Tennant, but there you go. Um, but also, I I love him. I, he was a Doctor that actually made me I fell in love with. He I had a massive crush on him so much that I. When I was when was it? When I was in primary school, um, what did I do? I I loved his era so much that in primary school, I dressed up as Martha for World Book Day. Do you know what people were like to me? People were, didn't even know who I was. I was thinking, where have you been? I'm Martha Jones from Doctor Who. Are you stupid? Like they, because I know uh, anyone who is not who doesn't like Doctor Who or has or has seen it. Everyone knows that anyone who doesn't like it or, or has seen it has only seen one episode. I know that for a fact. 
and he's just so he's just so hot and so gorgeous and I just love him um he also kind of changed my life because if it wasn't for him and <clears throat> well we wouldn't um we wouldn't be seeing Billy Piper you know what I'm saying because I think she had a bit of rusty red with Matt Smith I mean I'm, I'm not even gonna say anything the story I made about the, 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 there was a story made up about the, the, there was there was a story made up about him. I might even I'm not even saying it because it's too personal. Anyway, okay, now we're down. To number one, and I'm so proud to say this. My number one top doctor ever. In Doctor Who, by far, drum roll please, big one, is the fantastical, magnificent, sexy, Matthew, Robert Smith, what? Okay, the reason why I like, the reason why he's my top doctor, A, he loves bow ties, B, he loves fish, fish fingers and custard, C, he wears loads of hats, D, he's so sexy, and B, he's adorable and he's everything and his doctor is so good and just met him. Basically, if it, was, if it wasn't for him, whatever song wouldn't have come back. There you go. And it's even more fat. Yeah! But the thing about him, yeah, the thing about Matt Smith is that his doctor can get a bit scary. Not scary, how do I say it? Can be a bit annoying. So, like, I didn't, I actually didn't find him out. I actually didn't find Matt one annoying. I didn't find him annoying one bit, actually, to be fair. I mean, my favourite episode from Series 5 has got to be actually be the, um, the, um, Profession of Stone in this time of Angels. Um, that's what's my favourite episode, because I love the way he just acts when River, River Song comes back. It's just, it is freaking hilarious. Um, he's just, oh, he's so adorable! Um, I, I'm actually, like, I'm, I, I'm a Smithian, I'm a true Smithian. I also ship him with, like, about three people, actually, four people. I ship him with Karen, Alex... Billy and Jenna, right? He, with any four of them, he is adorable. Oh my gosh, right? If you watch, um, if you have the DVD already of Time of the Doctor, if you watch, um, the um, there was a Matt Smith thing like on the last day they're filming. If you watch them two together on the last day when they were filming the generation scene, it was emotional. They were so cute. They like he was like Jenna said to her, oh Jenna said to him, oh um, basically, I'm gonna, like um. The, the the guy in the, the camera says, are, are you are you gonna, are you gonna miss Matt and like and uh, are you gonna miss are you gonna miss um Jenna Matt and he was like he was he was like no no I'm not even joking I really love her and I was just like oh my god and then we were hugging so I'm I'm fine I'm fine girl and I'm going over the top anyway also he is actually a really caring doctor he obviously has painful heart for the losses he has suffered come in <laughs> yeah and he's just so cool and like. This is actually one of my favourite series. Actually, this is my second favourite series with him in it. With River Song. <laughs> this is my favourite second this is my favourite series with him. So yeah. Um I also have his action figure. Yeah. I, you might have seen this one before somewhere. So sick. Um yeah, I also have River Song. There you go. River Song again. And River Song again. I also have his screwdriver. That's not River Song. I told you it was my second favourite, god damn it. <laughs> anyway, so... Oh, Matt with, Jenna, Matt with Alex. Matt with Alex is just so adorable. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. You can have a I, I, no, actually, also, one more thing. Him with Karen, uh, do you know what? He makes me laugh when 